Hey guys, SuperJar23 here. Welcome back to another video. Today I am going to show you guys the best daily training routine for Kovacs FPS Aim Trainer. So to start it off, the first thing you're going to want to do every day when you log on is play Tile Frenzy. So you can do the free play or the challenge. I recommend doing the free play until you hit about 500, 600 targets actually hit. So like what I'm doing right now, you have to hit accurately. 600 of these and then go ahead and start doing the challenge do, and do the challenge a couple of times just to try to keep it competitive if you're more of a competitive person to keep it more interesting for you um, always try to get a better score and so on but yeah so this is going to be the first training you're going to start out with secondly guys what you're going to want to do is play tile frenzy 180 so it's going to be in your steam workshop not there you're going to want to do just the regular one for now and um, as you get better at it, you should start doing the challenge and trying to beat your score. So I accidentally did the challenge, so we're just going to do it for a tiny bit. But yeah, basically what this does, it works on your all-around aim, kind of like real aiming. It's not flat 2D, it's 3D. They're all around you. So you're going to want to practice this a lot. And after Tile Frenzy 180, you should do Extended Tracking V3. It's right here, it's gonna be in your Steam Workshop again. On this one, usually I just do the free play. There's a special way I like doing this. First off, see what score you get, but um, basically what you're gonna wanna do is press Escape and see time scale down here? It's one. Change it to 0.5 and then click play. So it's gonna be a lot easier to track. But you wanna get used to this first and then go up to 0.75 when you start getting this like 100% down, as you can see. Boop, okay. So then you'll go up to 0.75. Oops, that's a five. And as you can see, it's a bit faster now. Good practice your tracking. So it is pretty easy still. But as soon as you get to 1, it actually is pretty difficult. And if it still feels too fast, so I'm going to show it one more time. So this is 1. Oops. There we go. Okay. So if that feels too fast, what I like doing is I like putting 1.25. Make it even faster. So it's like torture for a tiny bit, and then I go back to it and it seems slower. So like, it's way harder doing this. As you can tell. <laughs> oh gosh. There we go. Ooh, that was a good one. But yeah, so you would just practice that and then drop it down to one and it should be easier. After Ascended Tracking, you're going to want to do Tile Frenzy Flick 180. So that's going to be right here. And you're going to want to do the free play and challenge later on. But um, this one basically just works on your finishing off the target then flicking onto the next one. So it's your ability to leave it on the target and take it off at the correct moment. After that, then you do one wall, six targets. This would be the last one too. And then you're done with your daily warm-ups. Make sure to try, try to do each of these at least about 10 to 20 minutes. So this one's gonna be teeny tiny targets. You're not gonna wanna use this crosshair, obviously. Yeah, um, I would change it for this. You're gonna wanna use a smaller crosshair, but yeah, you get the gist. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be the five trainings you should do every day if you want to improve with your aim this is what i've been doing and it's been helping a lot so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like if you did and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out